Good morning. It is Sunday. Today is definitely a rest day. Um, got a few little oddball jobs accomplished this day. I got a few little tidbits of things done to my own camper. Um, we had a scare last night. We had uh, the police stop by, and apparently there is an issue with whether we are on BLM land or we are on Arizona, um, Arizona land. Uh, Arizona has land that's basically like BLM, but you've got to buy a permit. So we all bought permits last night. They're like 15 bucks. Um, but we've got to have a big meeting this morning uh, so everybody knows what's going on. And we make sure that everybody out here has bought a permit so we can stay out here. There's an off chance that um, that the uh, that the officials might run us off anyway, but uh, um, this is not Jamie's fault at all. Jamie went to the BLM office, which this was considered BLM land last year, and he got permission and their blessing and the permitting and everything he needed to do to do something on BLM land. But now the state of Arizona has just decided that because there's a bunch of people with campers out here that maybe this is not BLM land, this is Arizona land. But we'll get it figured out. If we have to move, we move. I've already had, you know, a blue million people offer to help me to pack up my camper. You know, that's one of my things that if if you're a new a new subscriber, everything I do, I try to do um, myself. My whole camper is set up so I can I can uh, I can set it up and tear it down myself because the help is always nice. But I like to be self-sufficient. Even as a triple amputee, I like to be able to do things on my own. Um, so I will probably get help if we have to pack up and leave, but I doubt that's going to happen. We'll probably find out more tomorrow, which is Monday. And I don't know when I'm going to put this video out, so we'll just we'll just have to see. I have no idea as of as of right now um, how videos are going to go because uh, I think I've got some, a couple of small oddball jobs to help with people today. Um, but this is going to be a hangout day, I think, um, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. But it's. Uh, uh, it's been great. I've been out here. Um, I've been out here on what we thought at least was BLM land in Arizona, camping for a week, and I love it. It's dry. Uh, it's about. It's in the 80s during the day, but but it's not humid like Kentucky's 100% humidity, um, and uh, and you walk outside and you're instantly dripping in sweat. And it's just not like that out here. Uh, I'm breathing really good, um, which is which is a plus. There's not a lot of allergens out here, so. So, so far, this is great, and I'm telling all of you my subscribers this, but my mama's also probably watching, and she'll want to hear that, that I'm doing well, so, Mom, I'm doing okay. <laughs> all right, I'll get back with you guys later once we find out what's going on. So uh, we have no update yet on uh, if we have to move or not, but that's that's no big deal. It's still Sunday. Um, I thought I would show uh, this solar setup right here that I did some work on for uh, one one of the individuals that came out here for uh, uh, for the van build to have some work done and to help out if they could. And they prefer not to be on camera, so <clears throat> so we're not going to show them. Um, but very cool individual. Um, here's their system here. That is a Wanderer solar charge controller. It's, if you remember my videos, it's much beefier than mine, but, but this person has a much larger setup. So they have 200 amp hours or so of batteries right underneath the heater behind, and then the solar panels on top. Now let me show you a shot of the solar panels right here, if I can get it with my camera. So um, uh, what we had to do today was, was we had to fix some wiring. There was some wiring that came loose. And so um, right here, <coughs> here's where the solar panels come in. Here's where the battery goes out, and there were some issues. So we had to re-splice some wires right here. And she has everything fused off. So this is, this is a hot wire coming in um, from the solar panel. And this is her hot wire from her battery. And so she has a much bigger system than mine, so much heavier gauge wires than mine. But it's still, still the same basic thing. So it's it's uh, positive, negative, positive, negative, and uh, you just hook them up. So I just had to resplice some wires and and move things around a little bit so everything still fit, and uh, her solar panel system is now good to go. 
that's what we're doing out here at the van parties. We're helping out people that don't don't really know what they're doing or they need a little extra help, and um, um, and that's what that's what we're all doing. Just trying to help each other out. So still having a great time out here, and uh, um, I hope that next year you guys can come out to the van build party wherever it's going to be. Hopefully it'll be here at Lake Sahavatsu. We'll see how that goes. So I think I'm going to end out this video. It's going to be a short one today. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Next one. And oh, also, I've had so many new subscribers. I guess I've showed up on Jamie's channel for for about a minute or so. I've had so many new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing, and I'll try and show you good content. Um, so thanks to all my current subscribers and my new subscribers. You guys have a great day. Bye. Hi, I'm Neil, Trample amputee. He loves to ride motorcycles, train some jujitsu and travel in my, all across the country in my teardrop camper. I really appreciate you watching my video. And if you liked it, if you don't care, give it a thumbs up. If you want to, you can subscribe right down here. Check out a few other of my videos. I've written a few books, so if you want to check those out, they're right down here. See you on the next video.